Hi everyone, it's Tara Bianca with Be Light Transformative Therapy. And today I want to offer you a breathing recipe of sorts that you can utilize as preparation for public speaking, for any sort of important meeting or presentation, or also for any sort of staged performance. Really quick announcement, I'm having a store-wide sale right now in my Be Light store. You can get 15% off everything in the store, including all of my downloadable eBooks, my video collections, my audio files, and my breathing bundles. I also just released a new anxiety relief video series, and there's something in there for those of you who are exclusively interested in breathing techniques, those of you who are exclusively interested in tuning fork techniques, and those of you who are exclusively interested in self-massage techniques. I hope you'll check it out. Simply use code BLIGHTSTORE15 at checkout to get your special discount. Okay, so what do we need to make an effective and impactful presentation? Number one, we need to be calm but not sedated, right? We don't want to be too sleepy or drowsy if we're trying to give a powerful presentation. So for that reason, we're not going to want to focus exclusively on a breathing technique which emphasizes down regulation of the nervous system. We're going to want to mix it up a little bit. We want to be focused. We want to be able to hold our attention without having all those thoughts in our mind take over. And we also want to be able to keep those negative and catastrophizing thoughts at bay, right? So we're going to want to incorporate some breathing techniques that really help to get us out of our heads and more into our bodies and more into present moment awareness. And then number three, we're going to want to have good blood flow and oxygen distribution around the body. We want to be sure to get oxygen to our brains and to our hearts. We want our airways as open and dilated as possible. We want our vocal cords to have room to function optimally. We want that sound to be able to come out with ease, to come out in a supported way. And in general, we just want to feel warmed up and ready to perform. So we're going to want to add in some techniques that allow us to get as much blood and oxygen flow around the body as we can and that also allow for vasodilation, meaning dilating those blood vessels, and also bronchodilation, meaning dilating those airways. The exercises I'm going to share with you could be performed either seated or standing. It really depends on your own personal response, so please feel free to experiment. And then an argument could be made to practice these exercises in the same position in which you are going to be presenting. So if you're going to be doing your presentation from a seated position, then maybe practice the exercises seated. But if you're going to be on stage or standing at a podium or standing at the front of a conference room, then I would suggest practicing these exercises in a standing position. Firstly, I'm going to suggest focusing in on excellent functional breathing principles, really getting your breathing mechanics working well and really getting your biochemistry to work toward your advantage. I've spoken about this in so many videos in the past, but really quickly, let's review our five main principles that make up our truly functional, efficient breathing for daily life. Number one, nasal. Number two, slow. Number three, deep. Number four, quiet. And number five, light. If this is your first time hearing this list, then I'll be sure to link to some videos in the description below in order to help catch you up. In addition to these five main elements of functional breathing, I'm also going to suggest that you take a 4-6 cadence. This is going to be to ensure that you are breathing slowly and deeply, and hopefully it's going to optimize your breathing efficiency and HRV and also help to calm your nervous system. How long should you do that for? I would say three minutes is a good time frame. That comes out to only 18 breaths, which is super manageable. If this cadence makes you feel too sleepy while seated, then know that you can always practice it while standing, or I actually like to practice it while walking, either back and forth in the room or by taking a walk around the block. 
This is a really helpful exercise for starting to invite and internalize slower, more functional breathing into your breathing patterns while still walking around and engaging in the world with your eyes open. This in and of itself can translate really powerfully into your performance because practicing your breath work with eyes open is a big deal. It's not necessarily better than practicing with eyes closed, but it's very different and totally worth practicing. From there, I would transition into a simple box breath. My suggestion is to do a four by four cadence, but of course choose any cadence that tends to work optimally for you. Again, this technique would work perfectly well whether seated, standing, or walking about. And again, for this exercise, I would suggest about a three minute time frame. The goal here is to start to generate that sense of calm focus. And now we're going to continue to really get out of our heads and really get into our bodies, improving our ability to manage our thoughts and really stay in present moment awareness. This exercise is also going to help with oxygen distribution around the body, with vasodilation, and with bronchodilation. You're simply going to take two easy breath holds with a 30 second pause in between each. What's an easy breath hold? Well, it's going to depend on you, of course, but I am thinking in the range of 10 to 15 seconds. Think of these as warm up breath holds. As with all breath holds in the Oxygen Advantage, I always teach you to do these after a normal exhale. So what does that look like? Take a normal breath in and out through your nose, pinch your nose, keep your lips closed, hold your breath for 10 to 15 seconds, release your nose, again, keeping your lips closed, and find that nasal, slow, quiet, gentle breath for about 30 seconds. And you're gonna repeat that two times. Hold your breath. 30 seconds to recover, hold your breath, 30 seconds to recover. As a reminder, please do not practice breath holds if you are pregnant, if you have high blood pressure, if you have cardiovascular disease, or any other serious medical condition. The next exercise is an extension of the easy breath holds or the warm-up breath holds. Now I'm going to ask you to take three strong breath holds. So what does that look like? Take a normal breath in and out through your nose. Pinch your nose and hold with your lips closed. And now you're holding until you feel a really strong air hunger. Once you've reached your limit on this breath hold, release your nose. Again, keep those lips closed, no gasping for air. And find your nose slow, deep, quiet, gentle breath as quickly as you can. So after that strong breath hold, you wanna be able to recover your breathing back to normal functional breathing within one to two breaths. You shouldn't be gasping. And you're gonna repeat this three times. So strong air hunger, 60 seconds of recovery, strong air hunger, 60 seconds of recovery, strong air hunger, 60 seconds of recovery. If you need a little bit more guidance on this exercise, then my video on the nose unblocking exercise would be a really close approximation to what I'm describing here, except you don't need to necessarily add in all of those head movements that I include in the nose unblocking exercise. In any case, I'll be sure to include that link for you in the video description. And again, please do not practice strong breath holds if you are pregnant, if you have high blood pressure, if you have cardiovascular disease or any other serious medical condition. The fifth and final exercise is simply a return to the first exercise. Whenever you are practicing strong breath holds, you always wanna take at least one minute to recover and recenter yourself. So for this exercise, I'm gonna simply have you return to your four to six cadence with excellent breathing mechanics for one minute. That is just six beautiful functional breaths. Okay, so let's do a quick review. The suggested breathing recipe that I gave you today, which you can practice either seated, standing, or walking about is as follows. Three minutes of four, six breathing, followed by three minutes of four by four box breathing, followed by two easy warm up breath holds. So think 10 to 15 seconds per breath hold, followed by 30 seconds of recovery each. 
Then you're gonna go into your three strong breath holds. So now you're thinking maximum strong air hunger for each of those breath holds, followed by 60 seconds of recovery for each. And then you're gonna finish off the whole routine with one minute of four, six breathing. That's all for today. Please let me know what you think of this breathing recipe. And if you try it out, please give me some feedback and let me know how it goes. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, please be sure to take advantage of my store-wide sale where you can get 15% off anything in my brand new Be Light store. Simply use code BLIGHTSTORE15 at checkout. If you're looking for a more structured breath program, then please check out my totally free Breath Basics six-day challenge. And if you'd like more intimate, behind-the-scenes time with me, including live monthly Q&As and also live monthly community-guided breath sessions, then please consider joining my private Be Light community. And lastly, if you'd like to further support the channel and the work that I do here, you may do so by visiting my Buy Me a Coffee page. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.